Right then. Okay. You fucker. Oh my god. Ah! Oh! So, what? What? I'm just gonna get completely fisted if I go in there, I think. I think that's what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna get absolutely battered. Fall, Mr. Morgan. Dude, the dog took a chunk out of me, right? Right, items. We need... What have we got? That one, that one there. Let's fill the dead eye up. Ah, you fuck. Oh, right in the face. Ah, oh, Marv, right in the schnoz. Oh, my God, there's loads of them over here, too. And there's like zero cover. <laughs> Items. Wheels are falling off. Right, let's get him. Oh my god. What the fuck am I gonna do there, man? There's no way you can you can take that by force, like. You know what I mean? Perhaps I just go in and, and just rob it. Just like, you know, get in, jump on the horse, ride off. Wait, there's two? Where's the other one then? There's one there. Perhaps, perhaps that might be easier. Rather than like getting into the like compound, right? Oh. 
Let's fill up that dead eye. Um, health. Right, we need to fill up dead eye, man. Yeah, we'll take a bit, bit of a hit to stamina. That's fine. Oh, this way. Get that scar on your Arthur. How are we all doing, boys? What are we having for dinner tonight? I'm having chicken tikka. Hopefully it's good. Arthur! Oh, am I glad I found you. Arthur! They got Bill. What? Who has? Bountyman. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of him. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. You coming? Alright. Yeah. Lead the way. Might as well, like it, it's a open it? world well, opportunity thing, so may as well do it. All right. he said he was going hunting. Never return. I know we got a bit getting a bit sidetracked, but well, that's fine. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick we up still need to eat breakfast. Oh yeah, it's like super early for you, right? When are we not, what what are you gonna have, Felicia? I, do, I don't really eat breakfast most days, to be honest. Normally when I wake up, all I want is like a drink and a smoke and I'm, and I'm happy then. I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. Nectarine, nectarines are good. They are good. I'm not much of a fruit guy, but I do like a nectarine. I really do. Is that smoke there, camp? I can't believe how hard we got battered in our base just now. Like, what the hell? It's a bunny. Howdy. Oh, I ran into my friend. Okay, okay, we're getting close. There they are, on foot from here. All right, okay. All right, we gotta throw in knives. Take out your position. You idiots ever hear of Dutchman boys? You're gonna pay for this. You have no idea what hell is coming your way. We're shaking in our boots. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, I'm bored listening to this son of a bitch. Hey, let's take him into town and collect on the bounces. God, get the candy. Get the candy, Felicia. Put the sweets in you. Fuck you. Dude, we cleaned them out. Just in time. Hmm. Let's go. Get me out of here. Loot. You, you can hold on, Bill. You know, this is your fault. You got caught. Fuck you, Bill. Is that like, are they keeping like this stuff like by a pile of horse teared? Oh, hat. Oh, look at that. Oh, treasure chest. No, it's not really a treasure chest. It's, we're, we're not pirates. I owe you for this. Well, I'm going to head back to camp. Of course you are, Bill. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Hmm. When they gonna learn? Loot.
Check in with John about the oil wagon. Wait, is John there now? Is John going to help me? Oh, take. Take everything. We need the money for Dutch. Okay. Ah, oh, walk straight to the tears. Come on, horse. Oh, my pelts have gone. Dude, we were saving them for ages. Bounty hunters. Right, let's uh let's give them a bit of a wide berth, eh? You are a good. You are a good horse. We want to go this way. We want to go away from the bounty hunters, not to them. Um, away. Yeah. What was that red dot hiding in the bush? Views like this, man. You don't get this in in like any other game. Wait, what? Dude, my dead eyes run out again. Who's, who's this guy? Oh, can I take it? Have this. How do we know he's blind? Good karma. Be warned, sir. Be warned. Surrounded by fields of burning fire and flesh, the devil will make his sacrifice. All right, friend. That's a bit dark. This light-hearted family avenger, eh? Fuck. Wait there. Oh, Mark has moved. What? The oil wagon markers have uh, gone. Mm, John isn't going to be happy. I keep hearing what well, may be a rattlesnake when I'm riding around. I'd like to find one and kill it. She know wait, she noticed she noticed my new hat. I can't believe she noticed my new hat. He sounds livid. Right, we need big, big dead eye consumption.
rob a homestead. Not, not just yet. We need to go and see our buddy John here. You never got us that oil wagon, did you? Uh, I kept fucking dying, John. I clean forgot. Well, don't worry. It's taken care of. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Thank you. You're still interested in the job, ain't you? Yes, but um, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. He made us hit the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. See, Arthur, even you make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes. Don't, don't rub it in, John. Okay? Dunny, rub it in, right? Right then, so. Abigail Roberts. We need to go and do this mission first, right? Who's there? Or should we do the Abigail mission? Abigail needs to speak to you. Oh, it's taking a little kid fishing. He's a little cunt, though. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. Oh, this mission. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? This mission. Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Come on, Jack. Let's let's go catch a fish. Dude, this looks so good. Oh, he's sat over there digging, digging a hole with a stick. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. You're taking him fishing at night, Arthur? <laughs> Okay, it, 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 it's it's a it's a storm, not nighttime. Oh my god! Oh! All right, hold on tight. So where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. Dude, that's so cool. Like, what the hell? It's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Never. Well, we're not. We're never going back there. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Be quiet, kid. I swear to God, I'm going to dr drive us both into that lake. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. You see that deer? Yeah. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I can't wait to get started. 
Yep, know me. First, we need some bait. Cheese. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your oh, look at that. Your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. Oh, I just go wait for a bite. Is, wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. Remember, lads. This means one's nibbling. Always feel your tips. You feel a hard tug. That's a fish going for the bait. So yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Fish on the line. Tug, Is it a tug. Big one? Oh, it's a big one. Big tugging. Massive tugging. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break of course, the line. piranha. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Look, we'll keep Jack, it. It's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. <laughs> okay. That's it. I close the chat. <laughs> I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. That I'm normally occurs when, when the Trebeks are flying. The really poor ones. We know who, we know who they are. Oh. We know they are that makes them. Seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling them in nice and steady. And reeling them in nice and steady. Reel them, just get them up on the beach. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that is a big one. One's a small mouth bass. Not bad. Keep. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? Do we have You're to catch lucky. more? But until then, oh, just... don't shoot him. Try not to wash. It's good for you. It's don't shoot, Jack. I know. I know he's a dick, like, but but don't shoot him. Huh. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace. Well, uh, he's going to survive in the wild. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances, Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan. Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. With five thousand All the ladies want him. Alone. Five thousand dollars? For me? Dude, our facial hair is ridiculous. We want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. Dutch, in the chat, he's after you. As I heard, a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh... Milton, 
You see, I haven't done anything <laughs> wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. Well, fuck you, Millhouse. From Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Oh. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. Why Fuck you, you Millhouse. <laughs> I'm Millhouse's friend. Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. We got some fish, though. Uh, let's eat it. I'm not really sure what Yarrow does, but we'll eat it. Oh, fucking hell, kid. Stop, stop your whinging, man. This is why your dad was glad to get shot in the first game. Spoilers you if you haven't seen it. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? So, Max going to heaven. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? We still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. So did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Yeah, just bring a couple of beers next time, you'll be fine. There you, there you are. Go. How are you boys getting on? Great. We caught a Love fish, and life. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Mm, nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. Real fine. We got. Oh, we got plenty of cutscene. I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross, and, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency, and they know about the train, and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No, they know we're near here, and they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Ooh. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. <laughs> 